So that's in a couple of weeks. You always... Oh, it just fucking did the... Uh, Storage full? Storage... No, it did the split and then on. Uh, so uh, this is part two. Oh, hi, everybody. Uh, so well, that's really good. Uh, this is part two. So watch part one. There's no spoilers. Part two, this is where I'm going to spoil some shit. You ready for, for this? For the book, primarily. For the book, primarily, yeah. This explains... But it explains the acts, which I think is important to explain. So in the book, near the very end... Uh, Basically, Dave has this thing where he's like, he doesn't know what's going on. He has this weird moment where he just wakes up and everything's weird to him. Okay. And this is also the time when, like, uh, more stuff's going on in the books. Like, people are being replaced and shit like that. So we're getting a little Dark City vibes going on? Kind of. Because what turns out is right before they go into that interdimensional area, it turns out that they were trying to send people over to our side. Uh-huh. Well, they mentioned that. They yeah. said that they were trying to send people over but couldn't. They did, in the books. Ah, they managed to pull it off. Uh, they do manage to pull it off, but they're not perfect. Ah. And what they do is they basically replace people. So Invasion of the Body Snatchers? Pretty much. And what they do is they, they replace David. Ooh. And David finds out because his body is murdered in the shed. Okay. Yeah. And if I remember the the exact reasoning behind it, is the reason why he is still, why he's still the main character, is because his mind on soy sauce, essentially replaced his body. Ah. So it's not That's him. That's where we get the ship of Theseus. It's not him, but it's him. Is it is it really the axe that killed him if you replace all the parts, or is it a different axe? That's the whole dilemma in the, in the, at the end of the book is, am I really David, or am I a copy of David? Huh. Because all my thoughts and memories are from a soy sauce, and my body is no longer my body, so there's no part of me that's actually David anymore. So is it really me, or is it another version and they hmm. completely gloss over it and fuck off with it. Which yeah, they is, just tell that to fuck right off in the movie. Oh, pretty much. I think John jokes about it later on. He's like, I don't even know if this is the real fucking David. I don't fucking care. <laughs> it, it's that That's the beauty of this whole fucking book and story and everything. It's just the absurdities, the, the complete and utter fuckery. It's just a beautiful fucking thing. Nice. Yeah, that, because I see. I know Derek has told me how much he loves the books before, but because he's wanted me to see the movie and read the books, he's refused to tell me anything. Yeah. So this is the first time I'm hearing most of this. Oh yeah. It, well, it's also kind of one of those things. Like, yeah, let me tell you about this book. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you would have been lost. Fucking page one. <laughs> Pretty much with the opening of. Oh, did I tell you about this part where David turns out he's not really David anymore? You've been like. Fuck is this shit you're talking about, bro? But because you watch the movie, you're kind of like, yeah, okay, I get that. I, I get, get this, this now. I get this now. Okay. Yeah. I can see where it's going. Oh, there's actually one cool part too. Uh, okay, so shitload. 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 In the movie, one of the guys is like a white gangster rapper who tries to pretend to be a white gangster rapper. He's long stories. Wangster. It's a joke about the culture of of uh, white people trying to be black. Yeah. And and while well, yes, he is. He refers to himself as shitload. He's pretty much Legion. Pretty much. If you um, know the biblical story of Legion, which, hi, I've been bored in hotel rooms. <laughs> but that, That's also kind of a cool line. I am Legion for we are many. Yeah. That, I, I love that line. But uh, in the books, he doesn't take them to the mall. Oh. The mall is, alas, this is like... I mean, they keep going back to the mall periodically, but he doesn't take them to the mall. He takes them to Las Vegas to the Marconi show. And he opens a portal. Okay. And the portal, when you enter the portal, you are essentially erased from time in your current dimension. So it's like you never existed. Huh. And the book plays with this idea beautifully because one of their friends falls in. Hmm. And they don't remember it. But they remember that something's wrong and someone's missing. 
You just can't remember who. Okay, very uh, Matt Smith's first season as the Doctor. And if, if I remember right, I the reason why the they can... If I remember, there's a reason why one of them can remember. And it's because, like, they come... they, they Like, there's there's a lot in these the, the, the book. So, like, I haven't read the book in a while. So, uh, it's kind of blurring together a little bit. But I remember Dave basically enters in another dimension. And he's able to remember his friend that fell in. Hmm. And the beauty of it is they never talk about him in the beginning parts of the book. He doesn't exist because he fell in the portal. He oh. never existed. So oh, there's wow. like there's moments where like weird shit will happen in the book, and it's because the character manipulated something, but because he disappeared, it doesn't. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But if I remember right, that's how it goes. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's this book. The book is very funny. It can be very scary at times. Although the scares are limited, I will say that. This is more comedy than horror. Yeah. Definitely more comedy. But, and then it's very smart too when it wants to be. Like, that is the beauty of it. It's like, it's very, very smart when it really wants to be very smart. Hmm. Read the book. It's phenomenal. It's on audiobook. Fucking listen to it. It's awesome. I guess I'll have to hop on my Audible at some yeah. point. Hey, Audible, if you want to sponsor us, I listen like a motherfucker. Yeah, they want to sponsor us. I'm sure they do. <laughs> oh, what? A bunch of jackasses are fucking talking in their house about movies? That sounds like the perfect group to fucking have sponsor our audiobooks. <laughs> it's late, can you tell? <coughs> and here's the fun thing This is the type of shit we do just talking to each other And the weird thing is This is exactly what John and David do in the books too Oh, <laughs> that's the other part that pissed me off when we're going to talk about this Okay, okay. so the ending credits Okay, the, the fucking alien the, the Playing basketball Portal opens up Dave purposefully to, throws the basketball I in I want you to explain the scene in detail Because I'm going to explain why I don't like it Okay so at the very end, they're playing some b-ball outside of the school. And a couple of guys who are up to... Wait, wrong show. When a uh, whore up to no good shows up. And starts making trouble in their neighborhood. Yeah. He throws one little ball in and his parents got scared. Although I do love... <laughs> the, the, the one thing they kept really f faithful, which is funny to me, is the scoring system. Oh, yeah. The, if you weren't counting, each shot of yours is 137. Well, that's the, the, in the book, they're like, we, we score basketball by 137 points just to make, make the games more interesting. <laughs> yeah. But. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're playing basketball. Portal opens up. And in the movie, Dave obviously purposefully just chucks the damn ball in. Yeah. In the movie, so, he does. In the, in the book, it's accidental. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In the movie, he just goes, oops. And John goes, you threw it in. Goes in. Dave's there. Well, shit. Hops in after him. Dude, I've been wandering around for like two hours. And then we see this piece of newspaper or something about shit happening on the polar, uh, on the fucking poles. This lady shows up. You're unstained! And one of these fucking lamprey slug things, which we'd seen twice before in the movie. One yeah. getting slaughtered with the axe. Although and he... one from Doug Jones slapping it on uh, Dave's chest. Yeah. Who Doug Jones is in this and does really good at being really weird. It's actually one of the perfect casting choices ever. Well, it's Doug Jones. I know, but it is a perfect casting choice for this movie. True. He's playing a character who's not supposed to be a normal human. Ah, that one. Yeah, and, uh, he's obviously not a normal human. Yeah, it's perfect. They don't even do makeup on him. He just doesn't look normal anyway. So true. So, so we've seen that twice. It comes up out of her mouth like some sort of fucking. Uh, like, kind of like, again, Invasion of the Body Snatchers with the fucking kind of. eye and the mouth. Yeah. Uh, comes crawling out. Dave tromps on it. And then these three space pods come down and three Zap Brannigan wannabes come waltzing out in blue uniforms. Oh, you're going to be our saviors, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, let us let us go get our stuff. We'll be We'll be right back. Even though we now know that there's a major time dilation that happens by walking in there, 
because Dave followed in maybe 30 seconds afterward, and it was a two-hour difference for yeah. John. So we know they're not going to be coming back through, but it's one of those, okay, are you just purposefully being dicks because you don't want to mess with this? Well, what's what's kind of going on? But it's one of those, okay, so we do see that there is more that is going to continue happening, even after Paul Giamatti turns out to just be a goddamn ghost conjured from Dave's imagination. From a hacked up... Oh, I forgot to mention that is a beautiful moment that is in the book, too. Yeah. Paul Giamatti is actually a dead black guy in the trunk of a Cadillac. Yeah. That only popped into existence because Dave took the, so the soy sauce. Mm-hmm. Because Dave conjured an image of what Paul Giamatti was supposed to look like based off of his voice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, going back, though, to the end credits... Where you're like, at least we know things are going to happen now. Like, yeah, it looks are, like are there's, they... s there's some sort of continuing story. And even though it's called John Dies at the End, John dies like early on, gets magical nose touches from Bark Lee, <laughs> and is back to life. Yeah. Because dogs are awesome, I guess. Right. I mean... But, well, that dog is. In oh, the yeah. books, and he's awesome. Um, okay, so Paul, like I said, are they being assholes or what? But at least we know more is going on. Okay, here we go. Here's what you want. You want to know why I'm pissed off? You want to know why I'm really pissed off about that whole scene? Hmm. Because they cut out the whole end of it. And there's more that goes on in the book. Okay. So, okay, what happens is they're like, oh, we're going to get our gear. We're, we'll be right back. They walk to the corner and like, and then like Dave goes, are we going back for real? He goes, no. Fuck that. And they keep playing basketball. But here's the funny part. Four teenagers, uh, like after they walk out, walk up to the corner like, what is this? They're like, let's, let's look. And they all four go inside. And they're continuing to play basketball. And they're like, they do a few more, they do a few more tubes. It's like a half hour. And the teenagers walk out. And they've been clearly fucking shooken by what happened. <laughs> and, and they're like, I can't believe we saved the whole human race. It's like, we fucking did it. I can, we are heroes. <laughs> and, <they're, laughs> and like, one of them is clearly like, fucking grown as a person and the other two are fucking like they're making out each other because they've fallen in love and they walk up to John and one of them walks up to John and like how long have we been gone and John goes the fuck do I care get the fuck out of here <laughs> and that's how it is the book that's how the book is it's beautiful and they cut it yeah, but at the same time, they're running it through the end, end credits, so you do get the idea that they're just saying, no, we're, but, we're still dealing with the after shit they from the sauce. They couldn't have added in one more minute. where they Because all it takes, it would, it would have been one more I minute. I even watched through the whole credits hoping that there was going to be a little bit more. Yeah. But. They could have added one more minute where they come out, like, are we going to go back? No. We've got the basketball back. And, they keep, and then. Just and then have, you just show the four teenagers walking in. Yeah. And then you can kill it. Yeah. And then, no, then you have them walk out and do that thing. Because that is the, that is the part that's beautiful. That is the part that, because it's immense in, in the, because the book basically goes, <laughs> I know this whole, because the whole point of that was like, this whole shit happened. Like the end of the world scenario, fucking everything happened to John Dave. Yeah. But. Blowing up an evil sentient animal computer thing. But they, but they, but they basically didn't let it change them. Yeah, they, they're the heroes of Earth, and, and no one knows about it. And, and they don't really care. And they don't care. And then they get another opportunity, and they're like, "No, we don't want to do this again." No, they're saying they don't want to do it again. It's just no, we're playing basketball. Like literally, in fact, in the in the, the only thing that, that's changed that I I understand they changed because okay, you have to, is that they're in that dimension for hours playing basketball <laughs> because it's cooler in there and they do make mention of that hey at least it's not as hot yeah and so they're like you want to just play basketball here and they're like yeah why not fuck and they keep throwing hoops and like more shit's going on in the background behind like you hear screams and they're like oh that sounds kind of bad oh well game on 137 points and it's going on like that and like the woman walks out you're unstained and she's like, like what a bitch and it's like <laughs> That's that's the one part I wish they would have fucking like. Le Honestly, they could have trimmed down anything else in this movie, and if they just preserved that end scene, I would have been happy. 
But, I mean, they kept so much more of it, of the book, in. Uh, as best as they could. As best as, this is a fateful movie. This is a movie made by someone who loved the book, obviously, who tried to make it work, who tried their best to do everything they could in order to make it make sense. Because it's hard to do with the story, the, the book that you're given. Um, yeah, up to and including using a bratwurst as a cell phone. Well, yeah, it's uh, the whole point was that it was the soy sauce that he you know, was... Yeah, it was the soy sauce messing with his head because the signals weren't actually coming from the completely busted Although cell phone. Although I do, I do love, uh, I will say John and, and Dave in this movie, uh, they really are like John and Dave in the book. Because I love, when he's got the bratwurst, he's like, okay, he's like, oh, well, I need to get a cab, and then once you get the cab, go to this, go to this place, then go ahead, steal a car... Go ahead, go to this point, ditch it, you can steal another car. I don't even have any fucking money, John. I, I had five bucks. I spent three of it on this fucking bratwurst. The bratwurst was three bucks? Man, what a rip off. Okay, look inside the, look inside the bratwurst. There should be a $100 bill. There isn't. Damn, it's just a piece of lettuce. In, in the book, he goes, damn, I thought that would work. Okay, do you have an ATM card? <laughs> yeah, they cut at the ATM, yeah. Okay, do you have an ATM card? Yeah, that. but that's... Like, I, I, would, I would say that that's the one thing that I think that is lacking in this movie. And it's, again, it's a sad thing to see go, but yeah, you have to, is the whole uh, John and David aspect. John, John and David, their relationship is fucking phenomenal. And also the random interludes they have. Because, like, for instance, there's a McDonald's in their town, the only McDonald's, and it's uh, fucked up. Because okay. they have, because when they're on the soy sauce, they're open to the paranormal. So every time they go to the McDonald's, the the they can't go through the drive-through because the drive-through yells at them. <laughs> and it's demonic and evil. It's like they always have to fucking order inside. And it's just, it's small things like that where it just really makes this book. Shut. It's attention to detail in the book. Yeah, that made it so so good. And I know the second book is just as good. I, I read half of it. I never finished. It. I really need to. But it's just as good. It, there's, I mean, uh, it's John dies at the end. There's spiders, and uh, this book is full of spiders. And, and then, then, then the third one, which he just found out about. Yeah, which I found out about. It came out in 2017. I didn't fucking know. Now I want to read that one. <laughs> this isn't a guy who reads too terribly much, mostly because of time. No, I don't read too terribly much because I really don't like reading. Okay. Uh, I, I, I have a problem where I can't focus on shit. Like, mm. If I'm if I'm staring at a page for too long, I just kind of my mind like ooh, ooh, ooh. so it has to really catch my interest. And John, the whole thing kept, caught my interest. Uh, that's one of the few books that like honest, and it's one of the few books that scared me. It's one of the few that actually gives me the heebie-jeebies. Like I said, the AIM Skype thing, the AIM yeah. Messenger, that was fucking freaky to read because you're just because it's so like that's that's like found footage. Like how it should Proper be. Proper done found footage. Yeah, in a book. It's it's like, oh my god, that's creepy as fuck. And you're just like reading it. And I wish I had it here so I could just read it out loud because it is honestly one of the better parts of the movie, of the book. Hmm. Uh, in my opinion. And there's, there's so much that's good. Uh, you know. So, in short, too late. Um. <laughs> Great movie. Great movie. Apparently, wicked awesome book. Go watch and go read. Yeah. Or Audible that shit. Or Audible or do whatever. This is a fantastic... Uh, I will say, there is a flaccid dick. There yes. are several tits at the end. And they, they, they linger on those tits, too. Well, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would too, but... And they I mean, also do... They also... They don't keep the dick on screen as uncomfortably long as they do in uh, Walk Hard, a Dewey Cox story. Yeah. Which, I like that movie. Um, they don't linger on it quite as long, but they do kind of let it sit there so you oh, get I the idea. Oh, I forgot there was one thing that they didn't, they didn't do in the movie that was the meat monster that did kind of suck. Is the meat monster has a sausage dick. Why am I not surprised... But, uh, yeah, the movie is fantastic. I honestly say it's one of the better adaptation movies. Like, you, you, ha you have to lose something. You have to. You can't keep everything. That's just the nature of the beast. The nature of the medium. 
Yes. But if you can make it faithful, which is what I think the movie, it did what it could. It was such a dense book. I mean, you, you gotta lose something. And I'm glad they lost what they lost. And I'm sad. Honestly, the only way this could have been better is a miniseries. Or even a fucking show. Because honestly, it would work as a TV show. Like, on, oh, honestly, you could work as a TV show. It's so fucking good. Well, I'll call up Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're losing the Punisher. Why not? Let's, let's, or call them CW. They're always looking for something along the lines of Supernatural. Yeah. When they're not beating the horse. Yeah, that horse died almost as many times as the Winchesters at this stage. Although I haven't finished the series yet, so I can't yeah. say nothing. Well, they've been renewed up to season 17. So you got some time. But, uh, yeah, so that's uh, the long gist of it. Good book. Great movie. Yes. Um, yeah. Anything you want to add? What the fuck even is this movie? <laughs> Awesomeness. Yeah, I, I loved it. I, I love the hell out of it. it really, I, I think I've done a pretty good job on the batting average here. Yes, yes. And, and I will go back to it once again. That, yeah, when it came to... I, I do realize what my problem truly was with Death Machine. It wasn't a matter of I haven't seen bad movies. I've seen some bad movies. I, I still say you it's, probably haven't seen as bad as I have. I have not seen as bad as you have. I will give you that a thousand times over. But I was watching with a critic's mind, not just watching a movie. Yeah. And I, I knew better going into this, because if I was trying to watch this with a critic's mind, I think I'd be even more pissed off than I was with Death Machine. Really? Probably. I thought, I, well, I guess this would be cut. But I think Crick would be more like, what the fuck is going on here? What, why Why even is this movie? What? What? what who? Yeah, there's, what? A lot, there's a lot that goes on in this movie that you really do have to kind of like. Yeah, that was a There is happened. one thing that I kind of wish they could have kept with the Jamaican. Which is, but again, it would have been so hard to do. I don't know how they would have done it. Yeah. Uh, the people who are infected are able to make mur mur like mur uh, mirages, not mirages. Um, what's that? It's like when you build a miniature or something. It's uh, mur mural. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, diorama. Diorama. Okay, that works. And the diorama is so perfect and so well done that it looks and feels real. Oh wow! So like in his bedroom, he has changed it into a diorama of a snowy mountainscape that looks as it looks so real that if you, you almost feel like you've been transported to that place nice uh that was an aspect that obviously they couldn't keep but it was awesome and i had to throw that because i remembered it there's a lot of stuff in this movie where you, you can kind of go i forgot about this i wish i could remember yeah like the glasses that's another great thing that i didn't even talk about and i'm not going to because fuck you you can read the book i don't even remember glasses she wears glasses in order to see the door. Oh yeah, the glasses. Yeah, yeah. Because she's the only one who could, who didn't see the door, even though all of them were on the sauce. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole thing about that. Too okay. bad I ain't gonna talk about it. Because we've already been going for like what an hour. Pretty much. So, what's your movie pick? Well, as I'll if I don't know. Yeah, it's as if we don't have it sitting right there on the screen. I don't know what you're talking about. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Steve Martin, Michael Caine, couple of con men. It's one of those movies that I've been meaning to watch for a while. We're going to watch it. And I think I already know what your next movie is going to be. Somewhat as punishment for not having seen it. Never in the story? Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Depends. It's at least something that's going to end up showing it, up it here will, soon. It will end up here somewhere. Yeah. Worst case, at some point. I mean, we already got a few ideas for movies we want to talk about at some oh, point yeah. in the future. Yeah, we we already have like half of October booked between us because it's one of those. Halloween. Ooh, October, and we're able to crank these out almost like one movie a day for the most part. For the most, well, pretty much as long so, as, as long as we got time. Yeah, as long as we have the time to sit down, watch the movie, and crank out at least a ten to fifteen minute video. I, I will say I'm kind of upset my phone couldn't handle the recording on this one. <sighs> It happens. But uh, before it splits again, deuces, everyone. Deuces! Bye-bye. Oh, shit. <laughs>